Hello again, everybody. It's that 80s nostalgic toy guy again. Uh, today, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do our first real how-to video. So, who you see in front of me right here is a, a character for one of my favorite toy lines. Maybe my favorite toy line of the 1980s. Uh, this is Mr. Leoric. From the good guys on the visionaries the good guys being the spectral knights uh and this is actually lyric the leader of the spectral knights they are the visionaries though he isn't featured as heavily on branding and selling of merchandise and on the uh comics and cartoons um, he is the leader um and he has got some of the coolest, the coolest accessories, including uh, this rubber whip, which is the only rubber piece of the uh, Visionaries uh, toy line uh, in terms of uh, weapons. He also has a rubber, a blue rubber uh, removable helmet. It really, it's a pretty soft helmet. It can be squished and moved and placed in a, a lot more different places off for display. Um, you can take his arm out and put it in his arm. You can put it next to him on his stand, or if you don't have a stand, just put it next to him. He can hold it in his hand, or you can do what I do and, with all my characters. Put the helmet on him. Peril, Ektar, two arms! Lyric has the lion totem, and the lion is on his chest plate here. Sometimes it's hard to capture these holograms and all their glory, but that's the one reason why I love these these characters so much, this toy line so much, is those holograms. I have never forgotten these holograms. On his staff here, uh, we have the uh, uh, we have the owl, which represents wisdom. Let us see what my power staff counsels. Whispered secrets of a shattered age. I summon you. Renew this sage. And it's just, it's a beautiful staff. Uh, beautiful, beautiful and just large and grandiose here. But what we're going to do today is this. I have two complete uh, lyrics. And this lyric, I was able to get. Uh, someone wanted to get rid of this, this guy because he was in pieces like this. So... I got Lyric at a pretty decent price. I'd buy that for a dollar. And I was very happy because I knew I could uh, fix him. So today, that's what this video is about. This is my first how-to video. Fixing vintage O-ring uh, action figures. They can be these uh, Visionaries pieces. It can be the G.I. Joe pieces. Yo, Joe! Or pretty much any piece that has an O-ring. Um, so on him he's all together right now but like i said before he looks like this and now he looks like that i want to let everyone know that if you see an auction on ebay or mercari uh, or something or some other place to buy these characters on second hand market um that don't be don't be scared if they come in pieces. Make sure just look at the pieces. Make sure that everything's there, and then you have the tools with this video of how to put a, at least a visionaries piece uh, back together and replace that O ring. In a future video, we'll go ahead and do a GI Joe as well. I've got plenty of those and uh, plenty that need repairing. First thing you're going to start with on him, uh, this is the the hardest part and the most stressful part. Fortunately, we have a plan. I'm not going to take this guy apart, but I'm going to show you. The, I'm going to give you the tools to be able to change that O-ring. The first stressful, really probably about the only stressful piece you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove that chest plate. Now. That chest plate um, does come off, but you've got to be careful. You've got to be careful. I normally take the chest plate and I, it kind of has a little play to it. Um, I slide it down as far as it'll go down here. 
Now there's two things you don't want to do. These two little tabs, you don't want to break those two little tabs off. That takes away value. It doesn't quite kill the value, but you don't want to break those tabs off whenever you're messing around with this, this plate. Listen to me very carefully. Underneath this chest plate, it's got two little prongs on it that look like if you're going to plug in a cord into the electrical outlet. So I take a small little screwdriver, small, get in between there. There's enough room in there, small. Not big. Big's going to damage. Small's going to get underneath that chest plate. Go underneath there and gently work back and forth. Don't put any uh, major pressure on one side. Just kind of go back and forth and it will eventually pop up to where you can grab it and pull it off. Now, after you lift the chest plate, there will be a screw underneath there. So for that screw, you need a small Phillips screwdriver. So you take the small Phillips screwdriver, take out that screw. When you take out that screw, you will notice that you will be able to pop the, the torso of uh, Lyric or your visionary's um, figure, pull it apart. Then you will notice that you will have the arms, what well, kind of pop out of their spot. You can take those off to the side. His head pops out of his spot and then you can take it off to the side. You'll also see uh, the O-ring sits inside here. Yours will be either broken or missing. So you want to remove the old one. And then you'll notice that there is a hook on attached to the legs of your visionary's character. You'll take that hook and those legs, you will feed it through his um, crotch piece. The hook will rest sticking straight up towards the torso. You'll take the O-ring, put it on the hook that is uh, attached to his legs and through his crotch, and then you will set the chest piece, not just the front chest piece part, not the back chest piece part. You will set that inside the, the, the little groove that's uh, in his crotch piece or his waist, waistband and crotch piece. And then you will take that O-ring and stretch it out. Don't be scared. These, if you, gotta, you should be using a newer uh, uh, O-ring. You'll stretch it out and then you will wrap it around the plastic, hard plastic pieces that are in there. And then what I did was I laid my guy straight down. I took his arms and placed them uh, back on just like this. Like if just imagine this back chest, this back uh, torso piece is not there. I have that off and then I lay his arms in there and then I lay his head in there just like that. And then with everything connected, I slide this back torso piece back into there. And I grabbed it like this, took it around. I put the screw back in there, just gently get it in there. You don't wanna make it too tight, you don't wanna break anything, but just snug. And then I kind of moved everything around, just to make sure everything worked. And this is the this is the lyric that I I fixed. And uh, man, he is much better than what he was when I when I got him. But uh, everything works perfectly after I screwed that uh, screw in there, and then I carefully replaced his hologram, his chest piece hologram. Uh, without breaking anything. And then I got my little stand out. These actually fit very nicely on the feet here, like just perfectly. Set them back on there. Put his little staff in there. Put his little helmet back on. And this right here, this is just a really nice, these, these whips the reason why I, I uh, purchased this piece all broken up the way it was, all, all apart and everything, and got such a cheap, such a good price, is that these whips are becoming very hard to find. To have two full lyrics with original whips, it's just absolutely awesome.
um, and I was able to get this one with everything just because he was not put together. And uh, that's those are the kind of deals that I that I look for and I have to get because I do not have a lot of extra toy and collectible money. So there he is. There is your complete visionaries action figure that all it had was a busted o-ring which they wear out over time get dry rotted and they just don't hold up that's okay there are there are replacements and that is how you replace the o-ring on a vintage visionaries action figure this one being lyric one of my favorites now he's going to go back over with his buddies on the display case This has been That 80s Nostalgic Toy Guy. We look forward to making more how-to videos on vintage and newer uh, toys, action figures, and collectibles. As always, hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much. Don't make me beg here, because I will do it.